Hey guys, and welcome to part two of my Lazily Phoenix season. Today we're going to take a look at a few of the friends and allies of Lazily. Stay tuned. In this video, we'll be taking a brief look at three of my characters, Lady Zafira, Sora, and Gotanu. Last week, if you remember, we followed the adventures of young Lee as she traveled to the mysterious forest where Wisteria waited in anticipation for her arrival. This magical tree granted Lee the power of the laser sword and healing ring of the Phoenix. Lee instantly became Lazily Phoenix and went off in search of allies to aid her in a quest to save her friends in the rebellion. Laser Lee braved the snow-capped hills and mountain ranges until she reached a canyon. There she is met by two fierce women, Lady Zephyra and Sora. These two female warriors guarded the canyon. Halt! They both warned, raising their weapons. You cannot pass into this canyon. Laser Lee asks the two warriors to please stand aside and let her pass. When Sora and Lady Zephyra refuse her, they both assume an offensive posture. Laser Lee responds, drawing her sword of Trindle K. Lady Zephyra draws Laser Lee's attention, giving Sora the chance to sneak up from behind. Laser Lee finds herself in a tight deadlock. She grabs her attacker by the arm, bends forwards and throws Sora to the ground. Though Laser Lee has still not come to grips with the full measure of her new powers. Sora is hurled a distance away. Lady Zephyra and Laser Lee glance at the body. Sora remains still. With a shriek of panic, Lady Zephyra runs to her friend's side. Checking for a pulse, the full horror dawns on her suddenly. Sora has been killed. Her neck broken. Zephyra then glances slowly up at Laser Lee, the full measure of anger and loathing present in her eyes. You will pay for this, she rasps. Lady Zephyra activates her wind vortex machines. No mercy to the interloper. The force of the vortex wave hurled Laser Lee a distance off the ground. It was as though a massive hurricane had appeared to sweep her clear off her feet. As it turned out, both Lady Zephyra and Sora had pledged to guard the entrance to a grotto, home to an endangered species of Gortano moth. Suddenly, the huge mammoth creature flew from the mouth of the grotto, slicing through the air like a fighter jet. The Gortano moth circled above the helpless woman and began to beat its huge wings, creating a counter vortex. Laser Lee was quickly caught in the moth's wake, halted mid-fall and saved from her own demise. The moth carried the female warrior to safety and landed just a few feet away from where Sora lay. What are you doing? called Lady Zafira. Aza Lee placed her ringed hand upon the dead body of Sora. A magical and mysterious thing happened. The ring began to glow, then her hand was enveloped in an aura of light. 
A moment later, Sora got up. Tears streaming down her face, Lady Zephyra looked at Sora and then back at Laser Lee. How? You were dead! I saw you! You were dead! Zephyra said, surprised to see that her friend was now alive and seemingly well. Laser Lee Phoenix explained her new abilities to the pair and expressed that she was on a mission to save her friends from the evil Archons. The great Gortanu Moth lowered its head, allowing Laser Lee to caress its tufts of long white fur. Lady Zephyra saw that the creature they had sworn to protect and guard at all costs seemed to trust Laser Lee taking a shine like some faithful hound. Both Zephyra and Sora agreed to accompany the warrior on her journey and help out if they could. And yes, even the great Gortanu went as well and continued as Laser Lee's magical steed throughout all of her adventures. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed my video, please like and share the content, also leave your thoughts in the comments below and subscribe, I'll see you all next Monday.